Now these are some sketches that I drew earlier this morning and uh, just movements I've taken from paintings and photographs and old photographs uh, a group of uh, uh, ladies uh, dre you know dressed in robes uh, standing next to each other um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that but uh, anyway it's an idea somebody bending over and reaching down to the ground with their hands I saw one where their hands were like this bending over and uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that but uh, anyway just kind of sketches of, of uh, the idea for like say having what the figure is going to be doing and uh, I don't know I like the idea of the person bending over and the, the style of sculpting that I'm thinking of doing in this this is going to be a real small sculpture uh, is kind of like impression uh, no real detail uh, just like this drawing just you know people doing stuff and you know they they felt that the uh, ghost dance it was not well the US was was very scared of it because they thought they had just won the the wars with the Indians here in the, the States and uh, here these people are starting to be stirred up by a prophet a Paiute, I think it's a Paiute uh, prophet, uh, Wavoka, who uh, taught them the dance and told them that if they did it, uh, that he would bring back the buffalo and the, uh, the old warriors who had died. <coughs> and, uh, and they really believed that if they followed the instructions of the vision of this uh, prophet that uh, things would change and they would get their pe land back and I mean it's such, so heartrending that uh, they I don't know I just it breaks my heart with these uh survivors and they were survivors um, they uh, they were in the millions and now and, and and towards the end of the 1800s they were down to the hundreds of thousands of uh, people and it's so sad that they they lost so many of their families and it's uh, it, it was all inevitable. There was nothing they could have done. Everything uh, was going to happen. I mean, it, it's the way it's always been. The strong always conquer the weak. It's not right, but uh, that's the way it's been since the beginning of time. In fact, when Native Americans came to this country, they... Uh, or moved into certain lands they found people already occupying that land and they took it over from them so it doesn't make it right but it's just the way things were different times and if we had to do it now we'd still do it because uh, people want to have their land I mean people want our land now and if we let them, they would come and take it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue drawing these sketches. And, uh, I don't know, just trying to come up with an idea.
so see you over at the studio. What I'm doing is I'm trying to plan out the size of the figures I'm going to do. And uh, they're just going to be sketches. So, top of the head to the bottom of the chin is considered one head length, and about halfway to the next head length is uh, the middle of the shoulders. That third one is to the belly button, and that one to the gro groin, and then you go up on about a third of a head or half a head, and these are the uh, lengths of your femur. That's the knee there. This, this might be too small. I don't know. Anyway, males are one head length between the hips or, or the uh, ball joint. And uh, shoulders are one in one head wide for the uh, shoulders on a male. Then you go down one and a half and that's where the elbow is right there. And then one head length and I just go a little bit past for the end of the arm and the wrist. And then the hand should come, the longest finger should come about mid-thigh. So that's how I'm planning out, and I'm going to make the armatures out of uh, baling wire. You can get baling wire at any a hardware store. I try to get the balance on this, uh, or the center of this wire, and what you do is just balance it on your finger, and that's where the center is, and then you just bend it over. And I put it right at the shoulders and then down to the groin, which is right there. Take the, uh, where the ball joint is, and I go down like that. I want a little sharper than that. There we go. And do uh, the same again. Okay, that gives me uh, the beginning of the armature, and then I just take where the knee is and bend it so I know where it's at. I like to go just a little longer on the lower part of the leg, so I go maybe a uh, about a quarter a head length past the uh, bottom of the foot.
that. I got some five figures. I may add a couple more, but I won't be using an armature. I'll just uh, be punching them together so they'll kind of support each other. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now, and then what I'm going to do is uh, tape the arms to the uh, main frame of the body. Okay, I take the uh, electrician's tape and uh, line up the shoulders with the uh, top of the rib cage. This ain't as easy as it looks because you got to get the tape to stick to something before you try to make it stick to the uh, wire. There we go. And that should hold long enough for me to uh, make the adjustments and all that other stuff. So that's one torso and arms. Uh, Ready to go, and we'll do the rest right now. Okay, now, since I got the uh, upper part, now I gotta start uh, doing the uh, head. Let me think. 